Hi guys, in today's tutorial we are going to see how to use the PHP Mailer library and Gmail's mail server to send emails with PHP. So let's see how we do this. Right now on the screen you see an email form. The form has an email, a subject and a message input field. Using this form we can send an email to any address that we type in the email field. If I click on the submit button we see a message that says all fields are required. This means that we will also be validating the input fields. Now let's send an email to my Gmail account. I'm going to enter my email. I'm going to say hi George and as a message hi from Greece. I'm going to press the submit button, wait for a few seconds and we see the message email sent successfully. Now let's go to my Gmail account. And here is the email that I just sent from my localhost server. Nice. Now before we jump to the editor and start coding, we have to do some things first. The first step is to download the PHP Mailer library. So let's go to GitHub and download it from there. I will put a link in the description so you can find the page easily. Click on the code button and then download zip. Store for now the zip file in your downloads folder. We will use it later when we see the project's file structure. Next step is to create a Google app password so we can use Gmail as our mail server. The important thing here is that in order to use Gmail's mail server, we have to run, we have to turn on the two-step verification process. Don't get overwhelmed. It's an easy process. Go to your Google account, click on the security tab and select two-step verification and complete the process. If you already have two-step verification enabled, just go to the bottom of the page and create an app password. The generated app password is a 16 character code. Copy and store it so we can use it in our code. That's it. Now we can start coding. In my editor and on the right side, we see the project's file structure. As you can see, I have extracted the PHP mailer zip file that we have downloaded and placed it in the project's root directory. If your PHP Mailer folder has a different name, like PHP Mailer Master, just rename it to PHP Mailer so your folder has the same name as mine. Now let's see the files that we need. I have a CSS file in which I already typed the CSS code. The CSS code is not important for this tutorial, so I will not go through and explain it. If you like the form's style, you can copy it from our webpage. There is a link to the article in the description. Next, we have a config.php file in which we will define some values that we will use in the PHP Mailer object. Next, we have a script.php file. In this file, we are going to write a function which will use the PHP Mailer object to send the email. And last, we have an index.php file which is our starting page and holds the contact form. As you can see, I have already typed the form, so we can save us some time. Let me explain what's going on here. The important things are, the action attribute has no value. This means that the form will submit to the same page. The method attribute is set to post. This means that we catch the values in our PHP code fetching the super global post variable. Next, we have the email field, the subject field, and a text area to type the message. And last, the submit button. You already know this, but let me say it again, that we are going to use the values of the name attributes in our PHP code to fetch whatever we type in in those fields. Okay, enough with the introduction, it's time to code, and we are going to start from the config.php file. Now, as I said, in the config file we are going to define the constants that we are going to use in the PHP mailer object. The first constant that I will define is the mail host and I'm setting the value to smtp.gmail.com. This will instruct PHP Mailer to connect to, this, to the SMTP mail server hosted by Gmail. Next I will define my username which is my Gmail's email address that I use. Next we are going to define the 16 digit app password. Replace the text with your, with your 16 digit code that you have created. Next we have to define the send from address. Here I'm setting as a value an email address from our website. 
That is because I'm already using this code on my live server. If you want to use this code on your website, replace my website's email with yours. Next we define the send from name. Again, I'm using my website's name. Next we define the reply to address. I will use again my website's email. And last, in the reply to name constant, I'm going to use my name. And we are done with the config file. Now let's go to the script.php file and use all those, all those constants that we have created. The first thing that I will do in the file is to put the PHP mailer's namespaces at the top. A namespace in PHP is a way to organize our classes and functions to avoid any naming conflict. In general, it provides us a structured way to manage our code. Let me show you. Let's open the exception.php file. Here is the namespace and here is the exception class. So in our script, we are saying use from this namespace the exception class. Okay, now in order for the namespaces to work, we have to require the path to those classes. Next, we have to require the config.php file, so we have access to the constants that we have created. Next, we are going to write a function named sendMail. The function takes three parameters. The email variable specifies where the email goes. The subject holds the subject that we type in the form, and the message variable holds the message that we sent. Inside the function, I will create a new PHP mailer object and I will store it in the mail variable. Next, I will call the SMTP method so I can use the SMTP protocol to send the email. Next, I will set the SMTP auth property to true so we can use our Gmail logging details to send the email. Next, I will set the host property to the mail host constant that we have defined in the config file. In our next step, I will set the username property to the username constant and the password to the password constant. Next, I will set the SMTP secure property to encryption start TLS. This will tell PHP Mailer to use the start TLS encryption when connecting to the Gmail's SMTP server. Next, I will set the port property to 587. We use this TCP port number to connect with Gmail's SMTP server. Next, we use the setFrom method and pass in two arguments, the sendFrom and the sendFrom name constant. Again, those two constants are defined in the config file. Next, we use the addRest method. The addRest method specifies where the email goes. So, we pass in as an argument the function's email parameter. Next, we use the addReplyTo method, which specifies where the recipient can reply to. Again, we use the constants from the config file. Next, we use the isHTML method and we pass in as an argument the keyword true. This is telling PHP Mailer that we will include HTML markup in our message. Next, we are going to assign the incoming subject to the subject property and the message to the body property. Next, we are going to assign the message also in the alt body property. Some email clients may not support or display HTML content, so they will display the message as plain text. And last, we use the send method in an if statement to send the email. If the process is not successful, we return an error, else we return the string success. And that is all the code that we need in the script.php file. Now let's go to the index file and add PHP code to complete the application. At the top of the file, we need to require the script.php file so that we can have access to the code that we wrote there. Next, I'm going to check if the form is submitted. If so, I will use an if statement to check if every input field has a value. I will use the empty function. So I will say if empty post email or empty post subject or empty post message, then in a variable named response, I will assign the string all fields are required. Else 
Again, I will use the response variable and I will set it equal to the sent mail function. As arguments, I will pass in the email, the subject and the message. Nice. Now I have to display whatever the response variable returns in my HTML code. So I will go under the submit button, open PHP tags and check the response variable. If the response variable is equal to success, I will tell the user that the email was sent successfully. Else I will display whatever error has occurred. And that's it. But before we test the code, I will go to the config file and add my 16 digit app password, which I'm not going to show you. Now we can test out the code. Let's bring back the browser in the screen and navigate to our index file. Let's click on the submit button to see if our validation works. Nice, we see the error. Now let's send the email. I will enter my email address. In the subject field I will say hi again George. And my message will say this is a new message. Let's see if it works. Ok, we have the success message. Now let's go to my Gmail account. And here it is. And if I click on the reply button, we see the reply to name and the reply to address. Nice, our code is working. And that's it guys. We saw how to send emails in PHP using PHP Mailer and Gmail's SMTP server. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like. See you in the next one.